What's going on guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Airspeed unreliable on the A320, autopilot off, flight directors off, auto thrust off, pitch thrust if below thrust reduction, altitude 15 degrees nose up, pitch attitude, toga thrust if above thrust reduction, altitude below 10,000 feet, 10 degrees in climb, if above thrust reduction, altitude and above 10,000 feet, 5 degrees in climb, configuration 0, 1, 2, 3, maintain, config full, retract to and maintain, config 3, verify speed brake retracted, landing gear up, and when at or above, circuit altitude level off for troubleshooting. Wow, it can be a long one, it can be a little bit confusing, and what I want to share today with you in this video is how you can remember it more clearly so that you can A, recite it better in an oral, and most importantly, B, memorize it and apply it appropriately if you actually need to use the memory item. Let's first look at a normal takeoff scenario. When we do a normal takeoff, the thrust reduction altitude in Airbus typically defaults to 1,500 feet above ground level. So, let's say 1,500 feet the initial from getting airborne up to 1,500 feet, we are below thrust reduction altitude. Then we have from 1,500 up to 10,000 feet, we've got this little window here where we're above thrust reduction altitude, but below 10,000 feet. And then furthermore, above 10,000 feet and above thrust reduction altitude, we have a third option over here. So, first option, we're below the thrust reduction altitude, second, we're in between thrust reduction and 10, and then finally we're above 10, and with each one of these we have a different thrust setting and a different pitch attitude. Now, I'm going to move the whiteboard out of here, because what I really want to do is share with you what you can see on the screens behind me is the MCDU, particularly we're in the takeoff phase right now, and, well, we're about to be in the takeoff phase, I should say. There's eight phases to the McDo, folks, and I can share with you lots of different things about it. I do talk all about it on our online ground school in the A320, OneStepPrep.com. Attitude indicator. It's also here, and we're going to unfreeze the sim, do a departure here off of Fort Lauderdale 10 right, and I'm going to share some things with you. So, we'll do a toga takeoff on this one. Despite the fact that we have a flex temperature loaded, I'm going to go to toga. All right, just for the purpose of the discussion. We read our FMA, man, toga, SRS, auto thrust, blue. Keep in mind, I'm steering here with a joystick. All right, doing my best. Here comes our 80 knot thrust set. That's 80 knots at thrust set, that's what we're gonna say. 100 knots, check. Standard Airbus calls here. V1, rotate, smooth rotation off. We're pitching right into the flight director which is our SRS speed reference system here. And by 100 feet, we can put the autopilot on. There's a positive rate, gears up, and the autopilot is on. Now, at this point, where are we? We're below thrust reduction altitude, right? And you'll notice the thrust reduction, let me just pause it for a second as I highlight this point. The thrust reduction and acceleration are both shown on the perf takeoff page over here, 1510, 1510, happens to coincide both numbers here right now. When we get to 1500 feet here on the altimeter, I'm gonna expect to see a couple of things. Well, first thing, since that's the acceleration altitude, at the acceleration altitude, this is gonna flip from the takeoff phase to the climb phase. The next thing that's gonna happen is lever climb is gonna prompt us here when we reach the thrust reduction altitude, which here in this scenario will happen together since both altitudes happen to align at 1510. Let's watch it play out. We're at 1,000. We got about 500 or so feet to go here. Take a look at pitch attitude. Here comes, take a look for climb. Climb phase, lever climb, pitch attitude reducing. We smoothly bring the thrust levers back. We're looking to go to the climb detent. Trying to do it with a joystick, bear with me. There we go, thrust climb, climb, auto thrust. Nose is pitching down to 10 degrees. Now, remember, let's bring the whiteboard back in action here. We just took off. Toga thrust, SRS, speed reference system, in the toga mode is gonna to give us 15 degrees nose up. Remember your memory item, airspeed unreliable. Below thrust reduction altitude, what are we gonna use? 15 degrees in toga. We just did a normal takeoff, what did we have? 15 degrees in toga. Okay, above thrust reduction altitude and below 10,000 feet, what do we want? 10 degrees and climb. What are we at right now? Well, climb thrust, pitch attitude, 10 degrees. So the airspeed unreliable, as you can tell so far, is a parallel of what we would normally do on any other flight. And understanding, I can't emphasize or overemphasize enough, knowing the MCDU phases. 
that when we reach the acceleration altitude, the climb phase comes in, which reduces our pitch attitude, right? So that now we can begin to accelerate forward, speed up to clean up the flaps. This is the power of prediction, predicting what the machine will do next so that you can anticipate. And if it doesn't do what is anticipated, you can act accordingly to correct that, my friends is the sign of a true professional. I talk about that in another video that I recently published here on YouTube, the power of prediction. All right, let's continue on. We're coming up a beam this S speed where we're gonna command our flap retraction. Flap zero, after takeoff checklist, speed check. We go to flap zero and after takeoff checklist. Now we're gonna hang out here at this 10, uh, 10 degree nose up pitch attitude as we begin to accelerate to 250 knots. Once we get above 10,000 feet, in this case, we're climbing up to 15, it's already set blue, we're gonna continue our climb, and once we're above 10,000 feet, the pitch attitude will reduce further to begin accelerating based on the cost index that we have set in, you guessed it, the MCDU. Now, the cost index here is 99, which means we're moving quick today, folks. We're moving quick. All right, here we are approaching 10,000 feet. When we reach this 10,000 foot mark over here, pay close attention to the pitch attitude. Here it comes. Managed speed's gonna do what? It's gonna jump up. Cost index, 340, pitch attitude. It's reducing, so we can begin accelerating to 340 for the cost index, 99. Where are we going? Five degrees, folks. Five degrees out of 10,000 feet. This is always what I'm looking for. Out of 10,000 feet, I look for cost index, managed speed to jump up per cost index climb, and then that nose down pitching moment to begin accelerating forward. It's also a great opportunity for you to double check your standard instrument departure, make sure you don't have any speed constraint. This is the last moment to catch it. Now we're essentially gonna begin accelerating forward at approximately five degrees nose of pitch attitude to begin headed towards that 340 knots. Now I'm gonna pause it there. Let's come back to the board and let's look at the airspeed unreliable memory item once more. If below thrust reduction altitude, remember, let's back up. Okay, slow down, Joe. Autopilot off, flight director's off, auto thrust off pitch thrust, if below thrust reduction altitude and 10,000 feet, that would be basically on takeoff right over here, toga 15, which is what we essentially did. It's the same thing on the airspeed unreliable memory item. If above thrust reduction and below 10,000 feet, 10 degrees incline. That's what the airplane did. If above 10,000 feet and above thrust reduction altitude, now we're in phase number three over here, or scenario three, five degrees and climb, which is what the airplane is doing anyways. What I want to illustrate to you folks is that the airspeed unreliable pitch thrust settings that we need to memorize, recite, and carry out if needed are no different than what the airplane would be doing anyways. That's what the airplane does normally. And use that to your advantage when you're thinking about, hey man, what do I need to recite here? What do I need to do here? Where do I need to position the thrust? Where do I need to position the pitch attitude? What would an airplane normally do in this phase of flight? On every flight now, look for this. All right, look for 15 toga, 10 and climb, five and climb. And I assure you, you're gonna find that the airplane does this on every single flight. With that, there's some other elements to the airspeed unreliable, which involve configuration. Zero, one, two, three, maintain, flaps full, retract to config and maintain there. Verify it, speed brake retracted, landing gear up. When we are at or above, this is very, very critical. Circuit altitude, we're gonna level off for troubleshooting. The reason it's so crucial to level off, folks, is because you see, we don't really know why the airspeed is unreliable. And if it's due to a clogged pedostatic system, particularly dual pedo probes clogged, remember that your, your airspeed indicator now acts as an altimeter. In other words, as we nose up and climb, the airspeed increases, and as we nose down and descend, the airspeed decreases, which is kind of contrary to how it would normally work. Typically, when you nose up, assuming nothing changes, if you have a constant thrust setting and you pitch the nose up, the airspeed begins to decline, right? Likewise, if we nose down, the airspeed increases. Challenge is if we have a dual pedo to blockage with a climb, we have an increase in airspeed, which might further lead you to believe, uh-oh, I'm over speeding, let me pull up even more to counter that, and you end up essentially pulling right up into a stall. So it's critical that what we do is lower the nose. Lower the nose in terms of going to the pitch attitudes that our airspeed unreliable memory item has us go to. And the next thing that I want to mention here is that the bird or the flight path angle, track FPA as we like to call it, is also available to you and reliable. Remember that the FPA is something that we talk a lot about in EET or our upset prevention and recovery training program, also a part of our online ground school by the way. 
Um, but the bird is very much available to you and going to be good information in terms of understanding where the aircraft is actually flying with reference to the horizon in space. Talk all about that in EET, uh, just as I do more about this MCDU, pitch attitudes on takeoff, systems, probable question, preferred responses, sim prep, briefing, sim maneuvers, procedures flown in the sim, all kinds of stuff. Hope you and your family are doing well. We wish you a very happy holiday season, and we hope to see you here in Miami very, very soon. You know the name, Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, your friends and training program success. I hope you found this video to be helpful, to be of value, and we look forward to seeing you in a future video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Drop your comments below if you like the content, if you don't like the content, or maybe what kind of content would you like to see? We always read them and we always hope to uh, get back to you in terms of responding and putting out the content that you are requesting. All right, be great. We'll see you in another video.